Amendment 2 focuses on sports betting in Missouri. Now, right now, we don't have a decision, but we can tell you that 38 other states already allow it, including Illinois. So let's take a look at our uh, uh, results so far. Right now, it looks like 78% of precincts have been reported with <laughs> neck and neck. I mean, it's 50 and 50. We're talking about just a, a tens of a thousand votes. So it's like a, a yes lead, but it really is too tight. The proposed law would allow people 21 and over physically in the state to bet online. Right now, there is good news for hourly workers in the state of Missouri. Proposition A passed, increasing the state minimum wage and giving workers paid sick leave. Here's a look at the vote total. Right now, the minimum wage is $12.30 an hour, but on January the 1st, it jumps to $13.75. Now let's go to our statewide races. It was a Republican sweep. Missouri's next governor will be current Lieutenant Governor and Republican Mike Kehoe. Right now, our Mercedes McKay joins us live from a polling place in St. Charles. And Mercedes, were there any surprises in this race? Michelle and Rennie, no surprises here at all. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe was heavily favored to win this one. That's because Republicans do have control of both the House and the Senate here in Missouri. Kehoe beat out outgoing Democratic Minority Leader Crystal Quaid. Let's look at the breakdown of this race, and it was a sweeping one. Kehoe got 59% of the votes. Quaid won 39% of the votes. Five on your side was at Kehoe's watch party in Jefferson City. He thanked outgoing Republican Gee, Governor Mike Parson during his at times emotional acceptance speech and pledged to get a running start once he's sworn in. Despite losing, Quaid remained optimistic for the future at her watch party in Springfield. She told supporters, quote, all hope is not lost. Well, listen, I'm incredibly humbled to be before you. This has been a great journey and I'm proud to be here and accept your confidence in the job that we think we can do. We are going to show the extremists in Jefferson City that they have gone too far. We did not, we didn't win this race, but they know that we are coming for them. It does not stop today. The work continues on tomorrow morning. Quaid also added how optimistic she was that the abortion rights amendment, Amendment 3, was going to pass here in the state of Missouri. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you Kehoe's plan that he plans to announce on day one as his role in governor. But right now, we also have the results of the Senate race between Josh Hawley and Lucas Coons. I'm going to send it over to my colleague Travis Cummings over in North County, St. Louis, to break those results down. Travis. Mercedes, good morning to you. We're live here at the Board of Elections in St. Anne. Voters have chosen to send Josh Hawley back to Washington to represent them once again after a contentious campaign against the Democratic nominee, Lucas Coons. Let's get into the numbers this morning. We're going to put up a map there on your screen for you. Hawley was met with an enthusiastic crowd last night, but here's how the votes went down. He secured just over 55% of the vote with 1.6 million votes. Coons lost with just under 42%, about 1.2 million. That's what just over 3,500 precincts or 99% of voters casting their ballot. Now, take a look at this large gathering at the Ozark Farmers Market at Finley Farms last night. Folks were chanting, quote, six more years. Hawley says he feels a sense of gratitude that he can return to the nation's capital on the Show Me State's behalf. Meanwhile, immense disappointment filled this IBEW Hall in Kansas City. Kuntz, a 13-year Marine veteran, touted himself as a pro-labor candidate all season long. You know, a number of labor unions supported him to the end. Lucas Kuntz fell short in two previous bids for a U.S. Senate seat. I'll tell you what Missouri has said tonight is loud and clear. Missouri has said that we believe in this country, that God is not done with America yet. And we are here to fight for America's future. Are you with me? Yeah. That's what I think we built a real grassroots movement, and I'm really proud of the team for doing that. Holly will serve another six-year term in the U.S. Senate. Live in St. Anne this morning, Travis Cummings, five on your side. Thanks so much, Travis. All of the latest results are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. They're also available on KSDK.com and the Five on Your Side app. You can text the word results to 314-425-5355 and we will send you a link.